Look at that. That is broccolini. That is very fresh guacamole. Wild Alaskan salmon, garlic, lime. Oh my god. I don't think that food has to taste bad for it to be healthy. I think you can make lots of healthy choices and have the food taste amazing. So today I'm gonna bring you along with me for one of my own personal favorites. I'm gonna make a big batch. It's a big batch of guacamole. And as long as the ingredients are fresh and in decent ratios, it turns out to be a pretty good end result. So let's get chopping. You know you love onions, but you can just eat them like that. So good. We got our onions. This one just smells so good. But I definitely feel like it needs to pass the smell test. Ah, oh, and if it does, you know. I feel like that's a lot of cilantro. I'm putting a lot of cilantro in there now. Mmm. Well, I cannot wait until this is done. I made some progress. Some of these avocados are absolutely beautiful. Other of them have some imperfections. We'll work around. But I am so excited. I'm about to get back to it. Stay tuned. Just how many avocados is this? Honestly, didn't count, but I think it's around 20. Okay, avocados are in. We got the lemon juice. I took all the seeds out because I don't want anybody accidentally eating a lemon seed and then pooping out a lemon. Because I mean, I don't want it too chunky. I want it creamy, but I also want it chunky at the same time. I want the best of both worlds. This looks amazing. We got to chop up some jalapenos. And I've learned from experience is that I have to use gloves, otherwise when I try to take my contacts out, I hate it. Not to mention, it can basically ruin the contacts, so... Or, honestly, any sensitive area of your body, after you cut jalapenos, don't do it. So, we're just gonna use protection. I'm gonna chop these up. Chopped up pretty nice little small chunks there, and nobody's gonna take a bite of the guacamole and think, Oh, I just got a huge jalapeno. They're gonna think, Oh, this is kind of smooth, creamy, it's crunchy. I don't know if I'm chewing into an onion right now or is a jalapeno because it's also freaking good. Gloves off. I like the creamy, but I also like the crunch. Fancy avocado oil. It just kind of enhances the overall guacamole. So we'll put some of that in, and then we'll start with small, and then as we taste test, we'll decide if we need to add more. Although I'm gonna save it for the fine tuning, really. Just gotta get a few more things in, and then we'll start taste testing and making adjustments. And then some cayenne pepper, not that much, but I also like putting this right on top because it really just makes the whole dish pop. It looks so nice. We did it. I've been just taste testing, it's done. I'm so excited, it's so good. I'm set for a week. I'm just gonna, all I have to do is, I have a protein, so I can be a fish or an eggs. I have the guac with that, and then like a vegetable on the side, and I'll be burning fat all week long. So, okay, let's check it out, there we go. Oh my goodness. Please, please. Oh my goodness. Yes. Yes. Fuck. Oh, I made a mess. I made a mess. Oh, guac on my lips? Probably. Food, nutrition, something that's extremely important to me. And I'm gonna keep on sharing and we're just gonna go with it. Today is guacamole. Another day is gonna be a regular meal. We're gonna do vegetables. We're just gonna do a lot of stuff. So stay tuned. Subscribe. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button. Make a maybe leave a comment. This is Dre Fitness. DreFitness.com.